All right, what's going on YouTube? So today's video, we do have some new subcase cases for the iPhone 16 lineup, the entire iPhone 16 lineup right here. So shout out to you, uh, subcase for actually sending all of these out. We do have another video, actually a few videos for cases, and we're going to be comparing a bunch of these at the time when this is recorded. It's before iPhone is released, but we have dummy units here. And when we do this drop test here, I just want to let you guys know, I'm only going to say this once. These are all dummy units, fake phones. Okay. I know people will still comment. And if you see anyone comment fake iPhone flame on them, cause they're pretty much dumb. Anyways, let's go ahead and start this. We do have a bunch of these cases. I want to get started with the phones themselves. So let's go ahead and show you here. So these have weights in them. So that way they're actually very close to the real weight. This is the big version here. The max, you do have that brand new, uh, I guess let's call it a shot button and then we do have all the regular stuff there as well pretty much exactly the same besides that new button this is the iphone 16 they have the white one right here which is really nice thankfully they sent a different color this one's super beautiful like you can see it here it just looks really nice i like when they send a different color so i'm gonna keep this one because it looks really good i'm gonna have that one on display so this is the 16 and this is the 16 pro max that's the size difference right there right here we do have the 16 plus which is a little bit bigger, of course. These are a little dusty, but really nice. And then got that peel off. That's the 16 plus right there. And then we also do have the regular 16 pro. This year I will be getting the pro max because I need a bigger phone for specifically recording videos on the go. I'm gonna be doing a bunch more contract work with my phone, especially. So we have a bunch of cases, accessories, and et cetera. So this is the full lineup here. They look beautiful. Obviously this regular 16 just looks really, really nice. You get that brushed aluminum on the sides, the action button. It has a SIM card tray right here, but I don't think they're gonna have it on the real model. Um, and then we obviously have the regular power button and the little shutter button here as well. So I guess they all have them, not too sure. I didn't watch the event, so like not fully. I just know the pros have them. All right, so let's go ahead and start it up. So those are the phones. Now let's go and check out the cases here. So we do have the regular pro here. And I'll leave a link in the description for these cases if they're released right now. Cause like I mentioned, there are pre-release units. So I got them ahead of the public. Extended warranty card. I haven't had subcase in a while, probably a year or two. So it's nice to see that they improved a lot of the packaging. So this is the clear case with the MagSafe on the back. This is the one I would use if I had the regular Pro, but they did send another one for the Pro Max, which is should be right here. So same thing here. We do have the Pro Max version, which let me go ahead and show these off real quick. So this is for the Pro, which these just look really nice. And I'll show you guys the uh, functionality on the MagSafe in a bit, but that looks really good if you ask me. So really good protection when it comes to subcase. You guys seen the drop tests before. And they also, I forgot about this, they have this new um, button. I'm not too sure if it's patented, but it's super smart. Like you have these little coils there, I guess you could say, or little pins. And basically they're heat conductors so that way um and pressure sensitive so when you are using the regular shutter it'll actually feel it and i believe you could actually just take this off completely maybe maybe not no i don't think you can but it's really really nice so that we're gonna see how that works on the real phone when we get them because i'm actually curious to see if they work really really well i'm assuming they do because these look really really good so there's just a little heads up on that. Really cool. And same thing for this one. It has that there. Really cool. This is the new MagSafe technology with a higher grade magnet. So that way it's able to be stronger and just work better. Since the new phones do have Qi 2 charging, faster charging for wireless, really nice. So that's what the clear cases are going to look like on both the Pro and the Pro Max. By the way, if you are watching this video and you know me personally and you are getting one of these phones, let me know so that way I can give you one for free. Also, if you're in the comments down below, I will be giving away two cases for free during this video. So comment also which phone you're going to get. Right here we do have the Max in the white colorway. This is the Unicorn Beetle. Uh, I don't know what this is called, but it's a nice one. You have to extend a warranty right there. Look at this. That looks insanely good. So this is the white color. It has like a pearlescent look to it if that's the right word to say but this looks really good it's not a two-piece case it's just a one piece but look look at that pattern on the inside this is super well made you have really good corner protection rugged design this time you have a cutout for that button 
and then the button right there is an accent of white, which is really good touch. You have that red right there for the action button. Like these buttons are really high quality. This case looks really high quality. I don't know pricing, but this definitely looks really good. You have a little soft material right here. I'm not too sure what the material is, but it's really, really nice. Maybe microfiber. Your camera lens, keep it protected if it drops and only use your camera when you're needing it. So this is what it's gonna look like. And the Pro Max, it's like, it, it feels good, you know? It's a little bit bigger than the regular ones uh, from previous years, just a tiny bit, but nothing too major. Same thing with the regular Pro. Let me go ahead and show you here. So this is the 15 Pro on the left, 16 Pro on the right. You can see it is just slightly taller than the previous year. So that's gonna give you a little bit bigger battery, better screen. Um, yeah, just really, really good overall. So this is what the case looks like good protection, especially on the camera. And you have a little notch there to take it out there on the side, which you do have to make sure you press it in all the way. So it's secure, but a really nice case. This looks really clean. So that's what, what it's going to look like. If you have it like that, if you have it like this, that's what it's also going to look like. I guess it gives you peace of mind that you can slam your phone pretty much any way possible and it'll be 100% protected front and back. So you don't need technically a screen protector for this. If you use a big case like that, that's meant to protect. All right, and then we also do have these other versions here, which I actually might give away these crazy good protection ones. Not too sure. These are two piece cases, but you can also just remove this screen protector that is built in. This is for the Pro Max, I believe. And same thing, this one looks really nice. It's an all clear case, which I really like. Even this holster that they have is fully transparent. So yeah. These are like one of the best selling cases on the market. To be able to actually, you know, take off the case, you have to put your, corn, uh, your fingernail in the corner, pry it down. These ones are a little harder to remove, meaning if you actually put this on your phone, it's gonna be a really tough phone case to actually remove. But once again, it's really well protected. And since it's 360 degree transparent, you know, you'll be able to show off the color of your iPhone. And this one, I don't think it'll get dirty because it's a matte finish, which is really nice. Um, at least on the back, on the sides, it's, it's a, a little bit of a glossier finish. So for this, you have to do the screen first, which there is a screen protector here you can remove. So just insert it like this, and then you go ahead and put it from the corners first, and then push this all the way in. There we go. All right, that's what this one's gonna look like. And it has this kickstand here as well, I forgot to mention which I don't, there we go. It does have a little uh, enclosure here for the charging port, which is good to make sure there's no dust or anything that gets in the actual phone port itself, which is nice. And then obviously that holster, I mean the little clip got protection right there, a little carbon fiber texture, nice uh, textile buttons here, plus and minus right there, Text, textile button right there, and then the cutout for the little shutter wheel slash button, whatever you wanna call it. So really nice case, great protection on it as well. Let's go ahead and show you guys the last case that Subcase sent before we get into the next cases from the other companies. So this one's for the regular 16 so finally the 16 gets to get some love um they don't have any plus cases right now i don't think i don't i, I didn't see any uh but this one has a black version so same exact thing but just in black and um yeah this one will basically cover the color so if you get a pretty color don't don't use this one which they do have a nice like gold champagne gold now which i think looks pretty cool so we'll give away both of these um UB Pro cases because they're maximum protection. We'll give away both of those. If anyone's getting a Pro in my family, I'll give them the clear case. But we also have more cases coming, so you got to cut out for the flashlight with a little carbon fiber texture to it on the outside, which looks really good. So you can still see the white. You know, you have a great lip protection for the camera itself. So really, really nice. And then obviously you do have that kickstand, which this time it has a hex pattern right there, the honeycomb pattern. Um, so it's increased protection on the back as well. So yeah, this looks, it looks a little weird cause it's like a big chunk just took out of the case, but you know exactly where to find that button. And it's just like naturally you can use your finger like that. It's like super natural. So really nice textured buttons right there. This one, you can see it a lot better for the texture buttons, but it was the same exact way for the clear case. So really nice case. I'm actually really impressed. Same thing with this little lip here. And then it also has a little uh, loophole lanyard thing on the side. So if you want to use one of those, you can use that. So really cool for that. 
So that's the full lineup. Personally, obviously I love the original, uh, just MagSafe versions like these ones. This is what I personally would go with. Um, but it's completely up to you. I know they have a bunch of cases and if you've seen most of my videos, you can kind of see what they have. They have a bunch of colors. They have a bunch of everything really. So I highly recommend to check out Subcase. We're gonna get into the drop test 